All right, so good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Susanna Williams, and I have been in the fitness industry for over 25 years. And I have worked with all kinds of populations uh, from children, youth, seniors, athletes. Um, my, my goal for this particular program is to encourage you first to move, um, second to move in a way that works for you. Um, we're in a society where we are taught or told that we have to do things like everybody else to be whatever it is that we have to be. I want you to be yourselves. Uh, if you want to have your camera on, um, that helps me see you, which creates a little bit of report. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, that's totally okay. Um, we can connect some other time, time as well. Um, a few housekeeping things with regards to how this is going to work. Um, I'm going to be doing everything on the chair. And sometimes I'm going to stand up and use the chair to balance myself. Um, and so don't feel that when I stand up that you have to, if you have some limitations as to your ability to move, it's completely okay. You don't have to do it. You can modify it. I will try as best as I can to give you options for modifications. Um, but if I miss, some, miss something and you know what works for you, you are the best judge for that. And the last thing is in terms of range of motion, like if I'm doing anything like bringing my arms over my head and you know that you have a shoulder injury or certain mobility issues that won't allow you to do that, please, when I do it, doesn't mean you have to do it. It just means that's an option, okay? And you can always, always modify. Actually, I encourage you to please modify it. Pain is telling you that you need to modify whatever it is that you're doing, okay? A little bit of burn and kind of like getting your muscle fatigued is just an indication that I'm doing my job and you're doing yours. Does that make sense? Okay, so take it easy is our first session. I'm going to do a lot of coordination stuff. So you might be like, oh, I can't get it. You will get it. I promise you, you stick to it and you will. Okay, and have fun. If you're not having fun, then we're, we're basically not really doing what we're supposed to do. Movement is, is supposed enough? to be, yeah. Excuse me for interrupting, but can you just um, reiterate that people should unmute themselves or mute themselves? Sure. Because there's some people that are coming up on the screen that have not muted. All right. So everybody heard that if you could please mute your microphones, that would be great. It'll help everybody else to listen um, more effectively. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to go and move back to the chair. Um, like Anna said, please pin my image so you can see me. Because the moment I move back there, I'm going to look even a little a bit smaller. Okay. So. Here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on our chair and we're gonna sit nice and straight, as straight as you possibly can. So not rounding your back, not leaning forward, try to be as neutral as possible and place your feet about hip distance, okay? Align with your knees as much as you can and your feet nice and grounded, okay? Now, allow for your arms to just relax next to you. And just move your hands, shake your hands a little bit, and let's do just a few circles with your wrists. Very good. And the other way. Excellent. And the other way one more time. Once again, if you feel any pain or discomfort, just modify it, skip this one. Wonderful, and again, to the other side, or the other way, I should say. Wonderful, and now we're gonna just roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back, nice, move, big movements if you can. They'll become bigger as your body warms up, and that's, the way it's supposed to be. And now bring it forward. So roll them forward. Good. One more and now bring them back again. So four and three 
and two and one and we're going to switch bring it forward one and two and three and four one more time to the back just twice one and two and now forward bring it forward excellent and give your hands and arms a little bit of a shake now bring your arms in front of you we're going to do cat cows on a chair so it looks like this you're going to inhale you're going to open up the chest you're going to exhale you're going to round the back and bring the palms together inhale come on up open up open up big 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 and exhale round four more times inhale open exhale round the back round 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 inhale and exhale two more times inhale open exhale round the back round the back round the back round the back nice and big open up inhale and exhale and bring it center neutral again we're going to now start bringing the knees up alternating so knee up knee up knee up very good knee up eight more seven six five four three two mm -hmm. one excellent remember you don't have to bring them up too high if you can't or if right now you're not warm enough slowly work your range of motion just take take it one step at a time okay we're going to do eight more um, knees up. And it doesn't matter if you start with your right or your left, okay? Right now, it doesn't really matter. So bring your knees up. Eight more. Seven. Stay nice and neutral. Good. Four. Three. And two. And one. Now, we're going to open up the hip. Like, do circles with our hips. So open 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 very good open 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 good four more four and three and two and one and relax now we're going to alternate we're going to combine actually knees up with rotation of the hip okay so eight knees up and eight rotations of the hip the hip alternating you ready okay and knees up first one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten now rotate and open and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight last two excellent one more wonderful and check it off now we're going to add the arms to combine with those movements okay so this is where coordination comes in once again if you go i'm not getting it just continue just doing the lower body and wait until you feel a little more comfortable and or continue to build towards being um, a little bit more attuned with how the body moves and coordinates the upper body with the lower body okay so we're going to first just press forward and then back this is the first movement we're going to combine with your knees up okay so push and bring it back so imagine as if you're pushing something that's quite heavy okay push like a heavy closet door that you're trying to open good and push and arms back open the chest and then push open up 
and then push. Open up and then push. Excellent. So let's do eight more. One. Good. And two. And three. Excellent. Keep going. You're doing fantastic. Four more. Three. And two. And one. Excellent. Give your hands a little bit of a shake. So we're gonna combine that with your knees up. That looks like this. One, and two, and three. So knee up and arms four. Good. Excellent. Okay, let's do four more. Come on, I know we're starting to sweat a little bit. Four more, you're doing great. Three, and a two. And a one, and take a little break. Now we're gonna do the open rotation and we're gonna alternate the arms just opening up. So same arm, same leg, opening up. Same arm, same leg, open it up. And open it up. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's okay. It's okay. Last two. And last one. Wonderful. And shake it. So now we're going to combine the knees up with the arms pushing forward and the opening at the hip with the opening of the arm. Okay? Ready? We're going to do eight of each. Okay, here we go. And bring it up one and two, and three, and four, keep going, six, seven, eight, now open at the hip, open, open, one, and two, nice and big, and three, four, good, and five, six, and seven, and eight, again, knees up, knees up. One, and two, you're looking good. And three, and four, and five, excellent. Six, seven, eight, and nine, and, oh, I gave you a couple more, open up, open up. Good, open up, two, I gave you a couple more. I'll do that sometimes, give you a little bit more. Good, four more, four more, four, and three, and two, and one, and shake it off, really nice. At any point in time, if you need a little bit of water, by all means, grab some water. Okay, all right, a new movement. So we're gonna begin by extending at the knee and tapping with your heel. So extend and tap, extend and tap. Now when you do that, try and contract the muscle of your leg, your quad, that big muscle right here, okay? Try to contract it as if, as if you're pushing something away from you. Excellent, now, I'm going to add the arms and it's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna require for you to use a little bit of coordination. So I'm gonna extend the opposite arm as I am extending the leg. So if I extend my right arm, I'm extending my left leg and vice versa. So that's it. If you find that this is too complicated right now, I suggest you keep trying, but if you find it okay, it's getting a little frustrating, then use same arm, same leg, okay? And eight more. Seven, six, and five, and four. Press away, come on, come on. And two, and one, excellent. <clears throat> so, we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna do 16 repetitions, okay? 
So extending the leg and extend the opposite arm. Ready? In three, two, one, and one, and two, and three. Excellent. And four, and five, and six. You're doing great. And seven, and eight. If you're sweating, that's normal. Eight more. Six. Very good. And four, three, and two, and one, and shake it off. Shake the legs and shake the arms. Excellent. So we're going to combine everything that I've done, everything we've done, from the knees up with the pushes, okay, to the opening of the hip, to the last one, which is opposite leg, opposite arm, okay? We're going to do eight repetitions of each. So eight knees up, alternating, eight opening of the hip, alternating, and eight extending the leg with the opposite arm, alternating. We ready? All right. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And in three, two, one, bring the knee one and two. And three, excellent. Keep going. Four and five and six, looking good. And seven and eight and nine. I gave you ten, didn't I? Now open up at the hip. One, let's do ten of this one. Two, open it up. Three, excellent work. You're doing so good. I gotta give you more. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nicely done. One more. Now extend the leg and the opposite arm. Tap. Two. We're going to do ten as well for consistency. Three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. And nine and ten, and take a break. Grab a little bit of water if you need some water. I recommend that you please, please, please have your water next to you every time you come to class. Hydrating is extremely important overall, especially when you're working out and you're producing a lot of heat and your body needs to recuperate that um, hydration, okay? All right, moving on to the next exercise. So, we're gonna bring the knee up. I'm gonna do it nice and slow, and then you can join me when you know what I'm, what I'm gonna do. And once again, if this is not for you, modify it. You can stay tapping down here if you want to, or as an alternative, you can bring your knee up, extend, bring the knee in, and then back down. Knee up, extend, knee in, and back down. Join me whenever you're ready. Good. So it's a little bit of a progression of the knee up with the leg extension, yeah? And keep your torso as steady as you possibly can so you can activate those core muscles. Excellent. You're gonna find that as you're getting stronger, this will become easier. Up, extend, in and down, up. Extend, in and down, up, extend, in and down, four more, good, and three, and two, and one, good. And you're wondering, okay, Susanna, I know you're going to add some arms. Yes, I'm going to add some arms. So bicep curls, okay? Bicep curls. So arms up. Add the elbow, just bend and curl. Bend and curl. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. Excellent. 
four more, four. Squeeze those biceps, squeeze those biceps, two and one. Okay, now we're gonna combine the knee up with the leg extension with your bicep curls. If your head's going like, well, I don't know what's going on, please do not do the upper body, stick to the lower body. And it's, it's up to you, okay? So, but I'll show you. So here, extend in and down. If you're a dancer, if you love to dance, this should come kind of naturally. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Do what you can, do what you can. That's all we can do is do what we can. Good? Yeah, good. The arms are doing the same thing all the time. So if you think about that, they're just repeating the same movement. The legs are the ones that are adding a little bit of complexity to the movement. More like more of a compound exercise here. Good. Let's do four more. Come on. And four. Good. And three. Looking strong, everybody. Keep going. Nicely done. And one more. And take a little break. Nicely done. So let's do a, a little bit of a rolling of the shoulders so we can relax, taking deep breaths. Good. And this time bring them forward, forward. Good. Couple more. Excellent. And shake the arms and shake the legs a little bit. Nice little taps. Nice little taps. Wonderful. All right. So we're going to go from the very beginning, okay, which is your knees up with pressing forward. So I'm always going to bring you back and build so that we work on our coordination, our endurance, of course, and it helps all of us also with memory. Okay, what did we do and where are we going from there? Okay. So Let's do the first one. We're gonna do 10 reps of each, okay? 10 repetitions of each exercise that I've shown you so far, okay? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, knees up and push. And two, and three, and four. Excellent, keep going. And five, and six, and seven. And eight, you're doing awesome. Eight, nine, and 10. Now what? Now we open up at the hip. One, and two, and three, and four. Keep going, five, five more nice and big. Five, four, three, two, and one, now leg extension, opposite arm, one, two, looking good, looking good, three, come on, press away, press away, five, very good, five more, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now the last one we did, just go to your bicep curls first so that we can all together start doing our knee up with our leg extension, okay? Excellent, four more, come on. Four, nice and strong. Three, looking very good. Two, good. Now we're gonna bring the knee up now. Knee up, extension, knee in and down. Knee up, extension, knee in, and down, knee up, extension, knee in, and down, knee up, extension, knee in, two more, come on, two more, one, excellent, in, and down, up, extension, in, and down, and shake it up, and shake the legs a little bit. Wonderful work, everybody, looking, looking good, excellent. So we're going to introduce the next movement we're going to do. So nice and strong at uh, the upper body, nice and stable. Now we're going to bring the leg out and touch to the side. 
Now, if this bothers your knee or your leg, just tap forward, okay? If you can open it up a little bit and just tap to the side, that's wonderful. If you can't, that's wonderful too. Whatever you can do, as long as you're trying, that's all that really matters, okay? Good. Eight more. Six. I lost my count there, so as you can see. So let's do four more. Four more. Good. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. And are we going to add arms to that? Yes, we are. So we're going to bring the arm across the body and away. Down, 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 across the body, away. Down, across the body, away. Down, across the body, press away, down, one more time. Press the weight down. Now, very slowly, I'm going to introduce how we're going to combine them both. So it's the same arm and the same leg. So it should be, it should be fairly simple. Okay. So right arm, right leg. You're probably looking at this and going, "That's your left." Well, this is my right. So this would be your right on the screen from where you're seeing me. Um, let me just do it with this one. So right arm, right leg, out, and then bring it center. Left arm, left leg out and bring it center and continue to do that push away open to the side good same arm same leg same arm same leg good keep going good and let's do eight more seven six and five and four and three, and two, and one more, and shake it off. Excellent. We're gonna do 10 more of those before I take you back to the very beginning, okay? So if you need some water, this is a very good time to do that, to get some water. I'll get some water, so I encourage you to drink some too. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to repeat the last one we did. Okay. The arm away, uh, but same arm and same leg. Okay. And I'm going to count it in three, two, one, and good. Same arm, same leg. Two, three. Don't worry if it's right or left in terms of which one you started with, as long as you're doing them all. Okay. Good. Excellent. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one, and center, and shake it off. Nice. All right. We ready for uh, doing it all over again from the beginning? Thumbs up, please. Yes? Excellent. All right. So from the beginning, which one was the first one? Knees up and pushing away, okay? Just eight repetitions. And three, two, one, and knees up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, what do we do? We open up one two, three, four, five, six, very good, keep going, seven, and eight. Now extension of the arm and opposite leg, one, two, three, four, let's do four more, you got it, four, three, Two, let's go straight into bicep curls, bicep curls, bicep curls right here. <coughs> Keep your body moving. Good. 
if you've unmuted yourself, please mute your um, your mic. That would be greatly appreciated. Excellent. We're going to do four more before we add the knee up and the leg extension. Three, two, one. Now bring the knee up, knee, leg extension, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. Let's do four more. Come on. Four. Excellent. Three. Good. Two. Excellent. And one. Wonderful. Remember the last one? Push away. Same arm, same leg, but opposite directions. Good. Good. Eight more. Seven. Nicely done. Keep going. Good. Last two. Last two. And center in. Shoulders back. And two. And three. And four. And forward. One. And two. And three. And four, and shake the arms a little bit. Wonderful. Now, take a deep breath in, inhale, bring the arms up. And exhale, bring the arms down. Let's do that two more times, okay? Inhale. And exhale. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth, in. And exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Wonderful. All right. Uh, you guys are doing amazing. Um, just keep going, doing what you can. I'm going to now move to getting off my chair. Um, once again, if this is not something you're comfortable with at this point, uh, don't worry. We are going to do a small section of being off the chair. Um, you can repeat the movements that I had been doing before or do a variation of what I'm going to teach you of the chair from your chair. Okay, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to move to the side. You're probably going to lose a little bit of my head. I'm going to try and make it so you don't, but you're going to, you're going to stand right next to your chair, right next to your chair. And you're going to place your hand on the chair. Okay. Wonderful. And now. What I want you to do is shift your body weight onto the leg that is closest to the chair. So you're going to put your body weight so that you make the opposite leg kind of light, okay, that you can lift it up a little bit. So if this is as far as you can take it, that's okay. I can see some, I'm just going to go and check that message from somebody. Uh, your lower back. Um, okay, Linda, let me see. Okay, my suggestion if you have issues with your lower back is don't get like stay on the chair for now. And if it starts to hurt a little bit more, just take a break and watch, recover, and do what you can. Okay, do what you can. All right, okay, so going back to being here, body weight on your leg closest to the chair. Now we're going to bring the knee up and down. Up and down. It might be that you can only bring it up to here. That's okay. It might be you can only lift your foot by a little bit. That's okay too. Okay. Excellent. Up. Let's do four more. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. And just shake your legs a little bit. What's probably going to happen to some of you if you have not been working out very much lately is that when you're putting a lot of weight on one leg the glute of that side might become a little bit tight that's normal just move the legs it'll go back to normal okay so one more time we're going to do knees up so one 
And two, the more you can let go of the chair in terms of like not gripping to the chair, the more you're working your core muscles. And last four, last three, you're doing great. Last two, and last one. Excellent. Now, shake your legs a little bit. Same principle, you're still relying on the leg that's closest to your chair. What we're gonna try and do, holding onto the chair, is we're gonna move the leg away from the body. It doesn't have to be too much. It could be just as far as this, or it could be a little bit more, up to you. Four, five, and I'm gonna do three more, three more, three, two, and one more. Excellent, and shake the legs. Wonderful, we're gonna switch, okay? We're gonna switch, there we go. So same principle, we're gonna now shift the body weight onto the leg that's closest to the chair, which is the leg that you were using before to uh, bring your knee up and extension to the side. So knee up first, one and two and three, and four, and five, and six. You're doing fantastic. Let's do one more, one more. Excellent. And shake the legs a little bit, shake the legs a little bit. I'm gonna do the same amount we did on this side. So we're gonna go back to knees up, eight repetitions. So body weight onto your leg. Nice and straight, so try not to lean to one side. Try not to grip onto the chair, just nice and gentle to help you with balance. And bringing the knee up, eight, seven, six, five, and four. Looking good, three, and two, and one, wonderful. Shake it up, and now, holding onto the chair, aligning yourself again, there's a little reset. The leg is gonna go to the side, so abduction away from the body. One, and two, and three, and four, and four more, and three, and two, and one more. And shake the legs, especially the one that's been holding your body weight. Give little kicks, you can hold onto the chair. Little kicks. Wonderful. One more set of eight of abduction or moving the leg away from the body. Remember that when you're bringing the leg out, you want to keep your, your upper body nice and centered. So if you find yourself tilting, you're probably lifting your leg a little bit too much. So make it so that when you lift, there is no shift of your body to the side towards the chair. All right, eight more repetitions. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. Wonderful, wonderful. Four, three, two, and one and shake it up wonderful wonderful now holding onto the chair place your hand on your hip and bring your bum back a little bit just a little bit keep your feet together and then come up and then bring your bum back bend at the knee slightly and then come up good now bring it back and when you come up, squeeze the glutes. So squeeze the glutes. Or squeeze the bum. Squeeze the muscles of the bum. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Let's do four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Wonderful. Give yourselves a little bit of a shake. Move the legs, excellent. Take a deep breath in, inhale, 
and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful. And we're going to go back to the chair. How's everybody feeling? Give me a thumbs up if we're doing okay. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do now is, yes, I am going to take you back to the very beginning one last time. And then we're going to do a little bit of a stretch and a little bit of a breathing exercise just to bring your heart rate down and, uh, and ground you again. When we, work, when we exercise, our nervous system gets a little bit... Um, Agitated is not the right word, but it gets stimulated because your heart rate's going up and your blood pressure's going up. So I'm going to help you bring that back down so that you can continue with a wonderful day today. Okay? So from the very beginning, take a deep breath in and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And from the beginning, eight repetitions each set. Okay? Ready? Beginning with knees up and pushing away in three, two, one, and one. Two. We're doing great. Three. Four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Nine. I gave you ten, didn't I? Yeah. And open it up. Open it up. Open. Open. As if you're swimming. Excellent. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wonderful. Ten. Now, opposite arm, opposite leg. One, two, three. Four, five, six, four more, four, three, two, wonderful, and go to bicep curls, bicep curls at the elbow, good, four more, we're going to add the knee up and leg extension in two and one, so bring your knee up. Knee up, extend, in, and down. Knee up, extend, in, down. Knee up, extend, in. Wonderful. Knee up, extend, in. Let's do four more, please. Four. Good. And three. And two. And one more. And the last exercise is the knee away, or the leg away, I should say. Away. Away. Good. Six more. Last two. One more. And rotate the shoulders back. Nice and big. Good. And switch directions. Just bring it forward. Good. Excellent. And shake the arms a little bit. Wonderful. We're going to do a little bit of stretch. Okay. Um, hands on your, on your uh, legs. On your thighs, shoulders back. Now bring the ear towards the shoulder. So a little bit of a stretch on the side of the neck. And move your arm away from the body. So you create a bigger opening and you can feel a deeper stretch. And switch, bring the ear towards the shoulder and move the arm away. And 
and just begin to slow down your breathing mindfully. And bring it center. Now extend the leg, either one, doesn't matter. From your chair, you're gonna hinge forward just a little bit. You can feel the stretch on your hamstring. You don't have to go too far forward. And you can bend the knee as much as you need to if your hamstrings are too tight or if you're feeling that. If you're feeling that on your back, not as pain, but a stretch is, is supposed to. If it's pain, please ease off. Wonderful. And bring it center and switch. Extend the opposite leg. Nice and tall at the chest, but moving forward, hinging from your hip. Hinging from your hip. And keep breathing. Sometimes when we feel the muscles tense up because we might we might need to work on our flexibility, our breathing gets a little shallow. Ease off a little bit and try and breathe a little bit deeper. Wonderful. And bring it center. Now, feet a little bit wider than hip distance. Inhale, and as you exhale, reach to the side. So if this is too much, you can keep your arm right here. If you can reach and go over a little bit and open the side of the body, then do that. Modify it to what suits your body best. Your body might be saying, but you haven't been moving in a long time and complaining about it, and that's okay. You can say, well, we're going to start moving now, every Wednesday morning. And center. Good. Take a deep breath in, inhale. And as you move away to the side, you exhale. And stay nice and tall. Don't worry if you cannot go too far. Don't worry about that. Be glad that you're moving, that you're honoring your body and your health by just being proactive and moving and being here with us today. And bring it center. Now bring the feet together. You're going to inhale, opening up the arms. Open, open. Open, shoulders back, open the chest and exhale. Bring the palms together and round the back, and round your back and feel that nice stretch. Wonderful. And bring it up. Inhale and now exhale, round back one more time. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, round. Inhale, come up. And exhale. And inhale. And release the arms. And send your thighs. Relax the shoulders. So for the next minute, you have a cup, you have a choice to close your eyes or keep your eyes open. If you practice any form of meditation or relaxation exercises and you close your eyes, this is a great moment for that. If you feel more comfortable with your eyes open, uh, please do remember your home so nobody's actually watching you personally you're just this is your workout this is your time this is your space so if you're closing your eyes which I will do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count your breathing to inhale in a count of four and exhale in a count of four we're gonna do one practice round and then we'll do three more together to conclude our class okay so relaxing breathe out all the way inhale in one two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one last time, two, three, 
four, exhale, one, and two, and three, and four. And resume your, your regular breathing. Wonderful job, everybody. I am super happy that you all made it. I'm gonna come a little closer to the screen. And how do I unpin myself? That's me. Let me look at your lovely faces. How's everybody doing? Thumbs up if you're doing okay. Yeah? Wonderful.